front. 16 minute mark in the last quarter as Ricky Kennedy kicks in for Footscray towards the outer side. Bahadja. Louis Hampshire got nowhere near it. On to Eustace. Essendon finishing better. Eustace centers the ball. All Footscray here and Brian Cordy marks. Getting support from Dunstan. Dunstan cornered, gets out of it. Long kick up towards centre wing. Perrin number 40. Pumped away from him by Clark. Ball hasn't gone out yet. Well done by Sate. Short pass to half forward. Neil Cordy. And a good spoil by Neil Danaher. The ball out of play. Absolutely brilliant by Neil Danaher that time. Half forward flank. Bulldog territory. Madden against Cordy. Oh, cut it out on Pato. Honestly. Neil Cordy takes a free kick. But I'd be surprised if he wasn't surprised. And then to rub Salt into uh, the injury, he gets a 15 metre penalty and shoots for goal and kicks it. One behind. Ten points the difference. And either team can still win as Max Crow kicks in. Bruce Reed at the back. No mark paid. On all fours, McKenna gets it out to Burton who fumbles. And a ball up at centre half forward for Footscray. It's getting very dark here at the Western Oval. Almost turned the lights on. Umpire die. Hampshire wins yet another one. Picked up by Hawker. Terry Danaher, big leap. Taken by Bruce Reed. A John Reed. Downfield it goes. Berry and Crow scuffle and fight. A great pick up by Neil Cordy. And a spectacular tackle by Danaher. And what a great player is Neil Danaher. It's forced out of bounds. Yes, Neil Danaher started at centre half forward. Now at centre half back. Lots of positional changes in Essendon's camp. And he's happy to let that go out of bounds again. We had Terry Danaher starting at full forward. Now it's centre half forward. Andrews has played full back and full forward. Comes to the back of the pack. Dunstan tackled by Danaher. Picked up by Nagel. He took a long time to get rid of it. And one handed the ball away, ruled the umpire. It's a free kick to Dunstan. Right in front and well within kicking distance with 10 points the difference. Ian Dunstan coming up for kick number 17. He's taken it a long way back from the mark. And he's gold. Four points the difference at the 20 minute mark. Back at centre bounce. As De Conning comes on for his first run, Justin Madden gets a favourable bounce. Lost. Out to Davidson. Davidson cleverly out to Bruce Reed. Long left footer down towards De Conning. Gary Foles is with him. And it's out of bounds. There's only four points of difference with Essendon in front. And Footscray have it on their half forward front. To Conning, number 11. Down to Neil Clark. Oh, coming from the back. What a mark by, Bert, uh, by Davidson. Stan Davidson. Very congested forward line here for Footscray. There's only about two players in the other half of the ground. Comes to the back. Jeff Berry goes and puts Footscray in front. Footscray, Bill Berry at full forward, kicked four goals. That was the most pleasing part of the game, that we were in a position two or three times in the last quarter where we could have stitched it up. Uh, Essendon were in a position where they could have won it, yet uh, we fought it out well. And it's not just this week, there's been three or four other games this year. Maybe if we'd have had the icing on the cake, we would have won them too. Our desperation has been terrific. And you went in today, obviously you haven't had Kelvin Templeton all year, but without Jeff Jennings, and you produced uh, a couple, Sate from Yarraville in the VFA? Yes, he's turned out to be a very good player. Uh, the best part about his performance is he kicked goals as w when we needed them. And we haven't had a player around here for a long time that's been able to do that. 
Bill Berry kick ball? Yes, yes. Um, we, as I said, um, we haven't had key forwards uh, over the past season, but uh, Bill's one of our most constructive ruckmen. He's, he's done a good job as a makeshift full forward. And Bluey Hampshire's performance was great, considering he gave, gave away so much height to Justin Madden. Well, Bluey does that week in, week out. It doesn't matter how big they are, how big a reputation they've, they've got, or how good they are. Bluey just turns in his usual honest performance, and, and normally he gives them a real run for his money, if not booting them. And I think special mention must be made to Ian Dunstan. I thought he played a fabulous game. Yeah. And Doug Hawkins, certainly in the early stages of the game. Well, the first quarter was the best that I've um, seen him play since I've been here. I know when I first got to the club, Everyone said what a great player Doug Hawkins could be. And uh, even up until now, Doug Hawkins still could be a great player, but he can't put consistently four quarters together. But I suppose that's a matter of time, and if he just keeps playing, he'll learn to do it. Royce, are you going to be a better team now that you have a win behind you? Oh, there's no doubt about that, because we went 12 last year without uh, winning a game, and then we strung, I think, five together. Uh, it'll lift the morale around the place, and the players will gain confidence in what we're trying to do. And uh, you know, they'll know that the things that we're saying can actually win your games. Did you start to doubt whether the things you were saying were going to come true? No, I got in front of the players a couple of times and uh, in fact I did before the game today and said that I must be the only person here who thinks you can win because, uh, you know, I've seen them through the pre-season, I've seen them on the track and I've seen them in games and I know they have enough ability to do better than what they have done and I haven't doubted that um, what we were doing was right, but I was just doubting the confidence of the players, and a win's going to make the world a difference to them. Good on you, Royce Hart, and well done, Footscray. Start the post. Kennedy will kick out. Towards the outer side of the ground, Justin Madden's there. Oh, what a great mark by Hawkins! Picked up by Carey. Hampshire's got the run of it, never looked like it, picked up by Terry Danaher. Can really go for a long while if he wants to. He'll give it across now to Thompson. He should have, but he didn't. Out wide it goes to Fowler, to Foreman. On to Thompson. Thompson on a very acute angle will shoot for goal. Very acute, short pass to Andrews. Is great football. Madden, oh, dangerous hand pass to Carey. Carey did it very nicely. Boots it down towards where Bruce Reed goes up and a brilliant mark taken there. Cordy thumps it out towards the wing. Bahaji again. Short passes to Hawker. Hawker an awkward bounce. Davidson gets it. Hits it cleverly to Wheeler. Out to Dunstan. Dunstan down to the half forward line and Slate leads in the race for the ball. A good bounce for him. Folds as his opponent. Cleverly back towards Perrin. Great football, Fitzgray. Eustace, number 47. John Reed with the set. Oh, what a mark. Reed at centre half back. Plays on what he shouldn't have played on and kicks it straight to McKenna. Off to Wheeler. Wheeler then down to that full forward zone. Crow and Berry again. Out wide to Jeff Berry. Hand passes to Whitten. Whitten on the half forward line. Across it goes to Dunstan. His kick is smothered. Picked up by Jeff Berry. A left foot snap for goal. And it's a beauty. It's Michael Thompson. Dodges. Four. Back it goes and it's picked up there. And there's a long kick from Burton. Max Crow and Berry go. Here comes Sait. Sait's got the opportunity. Berry shoots for goal. And that's done it. Wow. Top ballast, Wiley. 